Kevin? That's a pretty snazzy helmet you have there. Ain't that cool? My old one died, so I had to break down to buy myself a new one. So, I had a comment the other day. Uh, I can't see what I'm doing, man. How do you see the well? Okay, that's a good question. So I thought, why don't you guys come climb in the helmet with me so you can see what I'm seeing, and we'll talk about the different tints. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, you know, the different shades of, of the glass itself and how much you should actually see. You know, should you see like the whole bench or should you just see that little tiny white dot? Okay, so the first one I'm going to do is the shade 9. And I would use that like outside where, where it's brighter outside to lighten up my work area so I can see what I'm doing a little easier. Uh, Personal preference, really. So, let me show you. Okay, so the next one up is 10. That's the one I prefer when I'm welding with the MIG inside. I think it's just the right for me. This is what it looks like. one is 11. That's the one I like to use when I'm TIG welding because uh, for my eyes I think TIG is a little bit brighter than the MIG is and a lot of it also depends on the amperage or the voltage that you're using depending on which machine you're using. Higher amps, higher volts, a little brighter light, a little more tin. This is what 11 looks like. I've never been up there. I've never really used them, you know, other than like with just this video right here. I find them way too dark for me. But this is what 12 looks like. Boy, you need, you just about need feelers for that. <laughs> okay, here's 13. helmet you guys were looking through and you can see this is the adjustment knob on the outside so you can get to it with your glove on you know when, when you're welded you can just retry it over there and turn it anywhere from a shade 9 to a shade 13. And is that digital or is that analog does it click into each position or can you, is it variable? Well this is just a rheostat so I, I guess you would call it analog but it's variable, so you can get you know nine and a half or ten and three quarters or you know wh whatever way you want, whatever is the best for your eyes, your type of welding in your situation, wherever you happen to be standing. At some other hel helmets, they have the electronic controls on the inside, where it's I guess you would call it digital because it's, it's only a shade nine, shade ten, shade eleven. There's no variable rheostat to it. So, well, it depends on what kind of helmet you get, but. Play with the shades. That's the best way to be able to see what you're doing. If you're too dark, you can't see. You can't well. You can't see what, where you're going. You can't see what's going on around you. Another, just one other little tip, real quick. The lights. If you're welding and you've got a light behind you, whether it's a, you know, the fluorescent light in your shop or you're outside in the sun, the light coming into the helmet, wash out your view. You can't see a darn thing. Put your hat on backwards, put a hood over your head, you know, turn the lights off. That'll help also. Hope that helps.